why why do you I don't know you might do I got a ball I don't I'm going to get you got it out Hello and welcome back to the most amazing channel on the internet. I'm your host Rebecca Felgate, and I thought that you guys would like this video. It seems very on trend with what you like watching on this channel. We have the top 10 scariest cults you don't want to meet. Name me a cult that you do though, hey. Before I get started it is customary for me to ask you a question so do take this with a pinch of salt because cults can be pretty bad but if you were going to join a cult what would it be about? The only cult I can see myself joining is like a cheese cult where we basically just eat cheese you know. Maybe drink a bit of wine but not like in a culty way we'll just drink wine and eat cheese and it'll be nice but maybe I don't need to join a cult for that let me know what yours would be in the comment section down below also while you're down there why don't you like this video give it a good old thumbs up share it with a friend join the cult of most amazing top 10 by subscribing wait what and stay tuned for the rest of the video coming in at number 10 we have the Nexium the Nexium have been in the news a lot recently I'm not totally sure if I'm pronouncing it right because it's spelled very strangely the cult was allegedly an American marketing company that offered professional and personal development through a series of executive success programs. Now it turns out that it was basically a pyramid scheme which, you know, kind of sucks, but beyond that it seems that the Nexium have been accused of housing a cult called DOS or often called The Vow. This is a cult where women are branded and forced into sexual slavery. Allegedly. Nexium's leader, Keith Ryanair, is said to be the head of the cult too. Here's a snap of one of the so called branding wounds. Now, each stamp is said to contain Ryanair's initials. Dynasty actress Catherine Oxenberg claims that the group brainwashed her daughter, convincing her to send them nudes as collateral so that she's deterred from ever leaving. On top of that, it is said that members are said to provide secrets and bank details to stop them ever departing. It seems that in the DOS cult, members are forced to recruit more people, and if they don't, they're beaten with paddles. It is said that there is an Emmy award winning actress high up in the group recruiting new members. Now this is all going on in Albany, New York apparently. Actress Alison Mack of Smallville has pleaded guilty to racketeering charges brought against her for her involvement in the cult. She said, I'm very sorry for those who I've hurt through my misguided adherence to Keith Rayner's teachings. Okay, was anyone else sitting there listening to this thinking about the whole collateral thing and thinking it sounds similar to another popular American organization because hello Church of Scientology at number nine. A lot of people consider the Church of Scientology to be a cult and I mean <laughs> actress Elizabeth Moss has urged people to be more considerate towards people who have different beliefs to them which I can totally get on board with but that being said the rumors surrounding the church are actually pretty intense. The church is famously attended by Tom Cruise now if the rumors are to be believed then the Church of Scientology gets people in with a personality test. It then gets them to work at the church for free or donate a boatload of money in order to proceed to the next level. They are also required to give collateral to the church and sign a billion year contract to the cause. As they climb up the level they are taught about the intergalactic overlord Zenu. On the Scientology website there is a frequently asked question page titled is Scientology a cult? Now according to the church themselves no, it isn't. I quote, it is a religion in the fullest sense of the word. They would say that though, wouldn't they? Coming in at number eight, we have the cargo cult. The cargo cult story is basically a morality lesson for those thinking of abusing their powers over others. Stephen Tari gathered 6,000 disciples in Papua New Guinea's jungles and encouraged them to be part of his sect. He started wearing white robes to conduct his sermons and preached his own version of gospel, calling himself Black Jesus. His cult relocated to the jungle and lived a somewhat tribalistic existence with Tari at the helm, as well as indoctrinating people people to believe he was a holy man, he also encouraged them to do his bidding. He would lead people to murder and eat others. On one occasion, he even slaughtered a virgin that he called his flower girl and encouraged his followers to drink her blood. One mother testified that she was made to drink her own daughter's blood. Now at one point Tarry was sent to jail for his crimes but he managed to break free and back into the arms of his former cult. However, in 2013 he kind of got his just desserts. The cult went too far when they abducted and killed a 15 year old schoolgirl from a nearby village. 80 men from her village then set upon Tari ahead of a big feast his cult followers had planned for him. Now he was pretty savagely hacked to death, but 
probably fair. Authorities in Papua New Guinea are worried that the cult still exists, with a new leader taking charge. Coming in at number 7 we have the Agori sect. Just when you thought you already had enough flesh eating cults for one video, I am bringing in another, and they have a weird sex ritual thing going on too. Cults. So the Aghori sect are involved in an ancient religion. They worship the Hindu goddess Shiva, or sometimes called Kali. Often, this goddess is associated with death and destruction. A website I found about the sect told me that when Kali wants satisfaction, the usually celibate sect find a corpse to, um, you know, I don't need to say it, do I? Do I? This isn't the extent of their relations with the dead either, they will also eat their flesh from time to time. They also do believe in spiritual healing and transformative power, which is less threatening. I was almost in a bit of a you know what, you do you kind of space, so long as they aren't hurting anyone and the dead people they do, you know, get with are kind of like former cult members that would have consented to that. But anyway, do you know what? After watching a video of the Agori talking to a journalist, I thought, again, maybe this isn't okay. And when I say maybe, Ah, I absolutely don't want to tangle with them. So basically the journalist goes to meet them and he's given a crown of teeth to wear, which is one thing. Okay. Kamal. Alright. Okay. Maybe I will take this off right now and then But then the journalist asks a fair question, and the answer is very stressful. Have a listen. People on that side of the river are so afraid of the Agori. Okay, the final straw for me is when this happens. Why do you Rightio then. Coming in at number 6 we have the Superior Universal Alignment. Luckily this cult no longer exists, but historically speaking, you wouldn't have wanted to meet them. The SUA was a cult founded by a woman in her mid 70s, Valentina de Andrade. It seems that the cult were prevalent in the 90s in Argentina. Their satanic murder rituals kind of overshadow the group's intentions, but it seems that de Andrade believes that she received a message from aliens that God does not exist, and that actually Jesus himself was an alien who was tasked with bringing about the end of times. Those who purged evil would be saved. How would one go about purging evil? Um, well, according to the aliens and the SUA, it would be killing boys born after 1981. Before, fine. Afterwards, evil. First, she tried to convince people to give up their children so they could have a spot on her spaceship, but in the end, the cult leader straight up encouraged her followers to abduct boys for sacrifice. In Argentina, at least 19 boys were mutilated and murdered. Five of them were never found, and a bunch more escaped, but some of the escapees had already been castrated. So grim. While the cult leaders were brought to justice in 2003, it seems that offshoots that the SUA may still exist in Austria. Coming into number 5, we have the Order of the Solar Temple. This cult was founded in 1984 by Joseph de Mambro and Luc Jornet in Geneva, but they also had offshoots, and perhaps still do, in France, Australia, Canada, and Spain. The order seemed to have been inspired by the ancient Knights Templar of France. The temple had many secret underground churches in Switzerland and had so called lodges elsewhere in the world, covered in riches. It seems that the cult believed that God was a solar king and that their mission was to unite Christianity and Islamic faiths. Oof. In order to prepare for the second coming, the cult murdered a baby with a wooden stake at a lodge in Quebec. How to unite the people? Kill a baby. It's a kind of culty sense I've come to expect. Later, they staged a reenacted Last Supper before killing dozens of people across the world, whilst other cult members committed mass suicides in response to, I quote, the hypocrisies and oppression of this world. Two days before Christmas in 1995, 16 bodies were discovered in a star formation in the Vercors Mountain of France. One of the dead included Olympian Edith Bonlou. Now, one of the leaders arrested was famous composer. Michael Tabernick. He was cleared of the charges and is now a free man. He was the leader of the Brussels Philharmonic Orchestra right up until 2015. Hmm. Coming into number 4, we have Happy Science. Wait, but the name sounds so friendly and fun, like I'm happy and I like science, maybe I found my people. Ok, don't joke about joining cults Rebecca, people will take you seriously. So Happy Science are a new religious and spiritual cult founded by Rahayu Okawa. Did I say that right? I don't know. Happy Science also doesn't have a lot to do with science at all, but they are working on the happy part. 
How do they get happy? Well, by denying historical massacres, saying they simply didn't happen. Happy Science claimed to have 10 million followers around the world, which I do think is a bit of a stretch. They also claim they are in contact with aliens. And I know what you're thinking, but they have picture proof. Except these pictures look suspiciously like stills from Star Wars in frames. Coming into number three, we have the Temple of Lucifer. Vice did a great documentary about Columbia's Temple of Lucifer, and they are a satanic cult led by Victor Damian Rosso, who claims to be none other than the son of the devil himself. It seems that Rosso used to be a Catholic, but has decided to give his life to Lucifer and has made it his mission to recruit so called Luciferians. The Vice video was published in 2016. 17 and has had 2.4 million views. I honestly think it deserves more, it's a pretty interesting watch. So the Church of Lucifer actually has some pretty sweet decor, it's very nouveau satan. There's sultry red leather chairs, red curtains, a big black and red satanic pentacle on the floor, backlit upside down crosses and an altar to the dark lord himself. Kind of made it sound a bit like I'm talking about Voldemort. I'm actually talking about SCP-1, the red devil himself, the creation of all evil. Rosso has claimed that a lot of high profile people, including celebrities, have secretly visited the temple. In the Vice documentary, it seems that locals are perturbed by the amount of animals ritually sacrificed by the group. Do you want a peep inside of the church? I think you do. Now his sermon is being led in Spanish, but let's have a look anyway. Rosos invites people to become millionaires by making packs with the devil, and honestly, I think that's kind of a bad idea. I don't really believe in it, but like, just go. Trust yourself to be a billionaire, not the devil. Ooh, coming into number two, we have Aleph. Aleph, formerly known as Um Shin Riku, is a horrifying Japanese doomsday cult. Again, I'm really sorry if I pronounce that wrong. This is their symbol, so watch out for it. Aleph was founded in 1987 by Shoko Ashara, a 40 year old legally blind and former yoga teacher. He posed the religion under the guise of being a Buddhist group, and the group has traditionally been obsessed with prophecies. Aleph have been known to distribute anime and manga propaganda that cleverly hides their more radical ideals. Based Basically, to simplify this cult, they believe that the end of the world is coming and they want to be ready. The group have carried out several horrifying chemical attacks on the public too, including most famously the March 1995 Tokyo subway attack which killed 13 commuters but affected over 1,000 people. Those who fall out of favour with the cult are murdered, their bodies are dumped. One super fun example was Kiyoshi Kiara, who was the brother of a member who escaped. He was abducted from Tokyo and taken to to a compound near Mount Fuji, then cooked in a microwave powered incinerator. You don't want to hustle with Aleph. While their leader Ashara has been arrested, Aleph still has around 2,000 members. Finally, coming into number one, we have the KKK. Clan is basically another word for cult, and the Ku Klux Klan are an enduring hate cult that was founded on Christmas Eve, no less, in 1865 in Tennessee, USA. It seems that the headquarters are these days hidden away in Arkansas. Most of you will have heard of the KKK. They're a white supremacist group associated with right wing extremism and neo Nazi ideals, even though they predate the Nazis. The KKK were more prevalent in the late 1800s to mid 1900s and would frequently be behind lynchings of African Americans. The KKK have been deemed a terrorist organisation, famously they held terrifying rallies in their cult disguise costumes and they would burn crosses and set fire to buildings of their enemies and worse. Children would and still are being raised in circles like this, believing staunchly in white purification. The history of the KKK is long, vast, gross and not over. Ku Klux Klan chapters still exist in the US as well as Europe, Canada and weirdly, Fiji. So guys, what a list! That was the top 10 scariest cults that you don't want to meet. Again, does anyone want to meet any cult to be fair? Don't forget to let me know if you joined a cult, what kind of cult would it be? I'm just thinking like joke answers only to lighten the mood, don't be like stepping to me with any satanic stuff cause I don't want to hear it. Cheese, cults only. And stuff. Ice cream, I could get on board with ice cream too. Good, I'm rambling again, so it's time for me to leave. I'm your host, Rebecca Felgate. If you like this video, make sure you give it a good thumbs up. Share with a friend, stay subscribed for more most amazing lists, and don't forget to check out our most amazing Instagram. The link is in the description. See you later, bye.